and welcome to my channel Emma Jane's Garden. Um, as you can see I'm down on the plot today um, with my beautiful dahlias and that is what we're going to talk about today, dahlias and cosmos. So I thought I would show you how I go about um, getting my dahlias to a decent length for using in bouquets. Um, so if you were to leave a dahlia to do its thing you'll get hundreds of flowers they'll all be beautiful um, they'll go over and you can just take the tops off and then they'll flower again but if you want them for bouquets you need to treat them a little bit differently so what I'm going to show you is how I do it and I've been taught how to do this by the um, the dahlia guru on this plot here on the lotman plots here um, and he shows his dahlias so he knows how to get really long tall stems so i don't need the stems as long and tall as he does um, i just need them to fit into arrangements really nicely so um, i'm going to show you how to do that today and then we'll go down to the cosmos and i'll show you how i cut my cosmos as well um, because some people say that like the cosmos isn't lasting um, I've noticed that on quite a few forums lately um, and now that's because you're picking the flower what you want to do is not pick the flower you want to pick like the whole thing but we'll go down there in a minute and I'll show you anyway let's get on with this and we'll do this first okay so a really good example of a dahlia that has had no special treatment is this guy um, and as you can see he's got a really long stem and this would have been a lovely long flower but it's got all these extras on it. Um, so, that is not going to be any good for be putting in bouquets. So what I should have done is called pinching and you take out all of these smaller ones. So really this one stem here, this one here, I should have taken out this one and this one and left this one to have grown tall. But as you can see, because I didn't, these two have gone up higher and are now going to start flowering. So this is gonna be no good for bouquets at all. But to be honest, this yellow one, it's a favorite of mine. I absolutely love it, but not everybody does. Um, she's pretty. So another thing is, a lot of people I've noticed have been asking what this part is. This is a spent flower, so you squeeze it and it's all soft and squishy. All soft and squishy. That is a flower that's gone over. That just needs deadheading. And what you do is you deadhead it all the way, all the way down to here. So I'd take that off. And I'll show you a bud. And a bud that is just about to come is gonna look, oh, hello. Little bee. Hi. Can we just look at this flower a minute? Just turn you around. So that there. Oh, can't focus. There. Hello. What are you doing? I'm sorry I disturbed your lunch. Well, he's cute. Let's move him. Here, let's put you on this one. There we go. Right, let's get back to it. Sorry. So this, this flower is a new bud just come in. And you can tell because it's round. It's round and fat like that. And it'll have a slight colour to it. Whereas this one, if I can get it to focus, is a spent flower. And as you can see on this one, it's still got some of the flower in it. But that's that. So you can see the difference between the two there. So he's pointy and he's round and fat. Right, okay, so this is my gorgeous cafe au lait, which I know everybody's going mad for at the moment. Um, okay, so what I've done is I have let this one have a few little babies, um, just because for arranging for wedding purposes, I could do with some slightly smaller ones because some of these real big ones are really difficult to do and think with. So here we've got this one I've already done. So this is going to come up on one big long stem. But you'll find that a lot of cafe au lait do not have very big long stems. Um, it's just their variety. They've generally got shorter, stubbier um, 
stems. So this one I've already disbudded, so it's going to come up with one long stem. So I will be able to cut it, as you can see, all the way down here. This one, however, hasn't been done. And I've left this just a little bit too late, really, but I'm going to do it anyhow. So I can see this has got, you can see the three. So this is how it starts. You have the three, one, two, three. Um, and this is the guy that we want to grow big and strong. So I'm going to be taking these two out. So literally it's as easy as this. So you're basically going to take one, take them out like that, and that'll leave, that'll leave that one. And that'll be nice and strong. Okay, so this is a perfect example for you. So this dahlia is this beautiful one here. And this is called, oh, I think it's Penhill Watermelon. Possibly. I'd have to try and find the label. I'll have a look in a minute. Um, but this is ideal. This is exactly what we need to look at. So you can see this is the one here, the one stem, yeah? All the way down. And what we'll be able to do, we'll be able to get the stem to here. Okay, and as you can just see, in here can you see just in there those white bits those are new shoots so we want to cut it across here okay so that will give us a really long stem for this one beautiful flower but oh no look at the top here we need to get rid of these so the easiest ones and the best way to, to make sure you don't scar the plant is to rub these off see it just rubs off and then this one so we're going to do the same. I'm just going to use my nail to nip it as close to the stem as possible. And then that one as well. There we go. Okay, so that one now will, all the energy is going to go into that one flower now, which is going to make one beautiful flower on a really long stem. And then once I've cut that, these buds will start to grow and we'll get new flowers. Um, and that's what I've done. You can see I've done that here. So that's what happened to this one is that one I cut it and you can see these shoots either side grew after I'd cut this one off and now I've got two big ones coming up. Hello. And this one is yet to flower. And I have got an extra. I should have took this one off, but I haven't. But I could take that off now. Or when I, when I use the stem, I can take that off then. Um, this one here can come off. Because we don't need that one. So that's going to be one long stem. And I'll take these little ones off again. That one's already been taken. Oh. There we go. I just wanted to show you this absolutely gorgeous dahlia. She is absolutely beautifully perfect. She's a water lily dahlia called Jerry Hoke, really old fashioned one. And I love how they start. I don't know if you'll be able to see, but they start with this really nice yellowy centre. Um, something's had a bit of a nibble on that one, but you can see this yellow right deep down. And then they come out in this real pale, and it's lovely for wedding work, so pretty. Um, and that mixed with, oh, there's the bee again. That mixed with things like the Nicotiana and the Scabious just makes for a real wispy looking bouquet. And that's all my dahlias down there. And then you can see my sunflowers right over here. And this is um, Cleome. So these are some lovely dahlias. I really, really love these. Now these have gone mad, but I did forget to disbud them. Like I said, I went away and it all went a bit crazy. So see this one here, this just needs this one snipping like that. And then we'll get one long stem. I have done a few of them. I love this one. Look at this, she's beautiful. Absolutely stunning. So here, can we see this one? So there is stem here, here, and then this little guy is going to cause this one not to grow. So we're just going to snip him off like that. And then if you look a bit further down, so 
we look a little bit dirty. So that's where we've just taken that one off from. And we'll go down the stem, if I can get it focused. And can you see just inside there, there is another little bud. So him, all we're going to do with him is just rub him off with your finger, like that. And now that stem is going to be this long. So we've got him from there, all the way down, all the way down to here. So we'll be able to take him off there. So I've already done this one here and I didn't do this one here, but she is beautiful. Look at her. Well, this one's come up yellow. I don't really understand because she's meant to be that colour. <laughs> but I don't mind because they are stunning as they are. Okay, so before I take you down to the cosmos, I just want to show you my favourite dahlia of all time. And it's actually my screensaver on my phone and my laptop. And the kids are really put out because it used to be a picture of them and I've replaced them with a dahlia. <laughs> anyway, so she's called Rycroft Pixie and she's stunning. I actually don't know what it is about her. She's just so beautiful. I think it's the pink. I'm not sure the camera's picking it up, but she goes through like a pink. She's got purple on the tips and then yellow centre and she's almost iridescent. Absolutely beautiful. So, cosmos. In fact, sunflowers stealing the show. I'll have to show you the other side. Absolutely beautiful. But here are some cosmos which are just starting to get going now. And they are, I mean I'm five foot four and they are just a bit taller than me. Look at that guy. Um, but I want to show you these ones down here. So these are just coming. I mean, they're brilliant. Yeah, hello. Um, this is the other garden, which has gone absolutely wild, but so pretty. So pretty. There's so much going on in here. Um, so I've got some cosmos over here. This is called cosmos seashells. Um, but this is the cosmos I wanted to show you. It is crazy. Um, this is cosmos purity, and it is mad absolutely mad so if you're picking for bouquets what you don't want to be doing I mean look that's piddly I mean you're not going to get anything out of that um so with cosmos you have to treat them differently and they are cut and come again really there's far too many on here and there's quite a few going over so I need to do a bit of hacking at this um but like I said I've been away for a couple of days so haven't got round to it so these are the cosmos we're going to pick so First things first with Cosmos, the way to tell if they've been pollinated is by looking inside. And the yellow bit that's been pollinated will be fluffy inside. This one has just a little bit of pollination here. This one is super fluffy. So that's been pollinated and will last approximately a day in a vase. This one you might get a couple more days out of. So what do we do? Well, that's obviously too short to cut anyway. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the whole lot because what will happen is once that one goes over, these buds here will start. So we're going to take it all the way down. So here's, here's our stem. I'm going to go all the way down. Our cosmos is cut and come again. So don't be afraid to cut your cosmos. So I'm going to go all the way down here. Out the way down here okay again so the same as the dahlia as you can see i've got well i've already got a bud coming here this one so and i've got one here so we're going to cut the stem off here where it's going to divide so we'll take it off there and then you've got nice long stem so the best thing to do is to strip all these lower leaves because these will just rot in the vase anyway. So your stem is a bit like this. Like that. And then we can pick from this bush here, I can pick armfuls and armfuls of flowers. 
Okay, so as you can see, I've got purple one, really long stemmed purple one, and then I've left some of the leaves on because I think they look quite nice in the bars. It fills out a bouquet, and that's the white one. And then when you put them together, I'd probably take these ones off as well, actually, if it's going in a bouquet, because then you can wrap it without it getting in the water. So already that's going to be lovely. Put some dahlias in, a bit more foliage, and you've got an absolutely beautiful bouquet there. So I hope you found that interesting and um, it helped in some way. Um, that's how I do it anyway. There's always different ways of doing it, um, but that's how I would do it. Um, look at these people walking along the allotments. I always feel really silly making these videos when there's loads of people here. I'm sure they don't even know what I'm doing, but anyway. Anyway, I hope that you found this information really helpful. Um, if there's anything else you want to know about, to do with cut flowers please let me know and i can do a video on it i know somebody wanted to know about propagating um, um f new plants so i'm going to be doing that for cuttings and stuff so i will be doing that i've got some hydrangeas i want to take some cuttings from so i will try and do that this week if possible i've got a ton more seeds to plant but you've seen pl seed planting but you know i might do another one of those oh and i am going to take you with me while I place a seed order and my bulb order because I need to do a huge bulb order so I've got a big area at the top of this plot which I'm going to fill just with dafts. Um, I think I told you already that I'm going to not do tulips. I'm taking a punt and not bothering with tulips this year. Let's see how that goes. And just daffodils so anyway. Anyway I better go because my phone is literally just about to fall off the gate because once again I forgot my tripod. I don't know why I bought it because I always leave it at home anyway. Right, well I hope you have a good day and go out and enjoy your garden. Bye bye.